Okay, do you know? Let's hope you're in a slightly better mu mood than God. Okay, this is the. Is that ghoul still alive? Correct that. Or break him. Hmm. Let me see. Tampico front desk terminal. Sendings. Sendings. Very, that means that none of these are going to be right. Healthy. Society. It's the only one without an ING except for healthy. Show list. Sierra Madre opens its doors to the world. The opening of our great casino and restaurant will feature a unique gala showcasing artists of the world. Vera Keys, Dean Domino, Joey Baxter, Wilfred the Wizard. The grandest event in the history of the West. Performance protocols. Doors to Tampico stage open, hologram sentries on, ambient audio system on, stage audio system off. Closed, off, off, on. Lobby security code, urgent mes message. I'll be right there, Eve. Just hide until I get there. Do whatever you need to do, understand? I'm not going to let anything happen to you. Everything's exploded, there's smoke, holograms are firing at people, we can't get out. John, please. Okay. Another sip of a good old dirty water. So, uh, holograms went fucking mental and slaughtered everybody. Guessing why that's... there's no survivors. Front desk terminal password, I'm guessing that's Joey and Miss Sains. Oof, what a way to go. Nope. Ah, hell, you gotta be. Bingo, minus one. Son of a bitch is armoured. Seriously? Huh. Ah, oh, fucking hell, are those Dean's name up in lights? Yes, it is. I bet he loves that. Ugh. If he sees this, he's going to be intolerable for the rest of the day. Okay, so there's one there with a red light. We have another one with a red light over there. We have... That could actually be an intercom I'm shooting at. They were killed whilst having a good drink. Partitures. Oh. Finally, a friendly face. Hey, partner, up here. Hey, Dino. In a bit of a predicament here, had to duck backstage, take a powder. The audience is a little murderous tonight. Uh, murderous? So I'm guessing casino hit security hit you like it hit me when you reached the lobby? No idea. Woke up here, thought I was dreaming for a second. 
right back on the stage. The mic. Thought I was back at the Fronds. Well, except no audience used to pack theatres back then. So, stepped up on the stage, checked things out. Then suddenly, holograms walked out of the wings. They started raising their hands to their heads, all creepy-like. Not a good sign. Oh no, they tried zapping me like that. Um, when you say holograms, I didn't see any coming in, only the speakers. Look, those ghosts are going to come out of the wings behind you in a second. The security types, not the friendly, bald types. And uh -oh. if you got in here, the door's probably locked tight behind you, so don't back up or run for the exit. You're not going to make it. Trust me, as soon as you can, run to the door to the left. Use the key you got out of the music rag there and camp out. As bad as things are, it's going to get a lot worse if either of us pops. So get backstage until we get a better plan. Okay, wait. Um, I need to head to the door to your left or my left? What? Oh, uh, my left. Your right. So, yeah, run to the door on your right. <laughs> Almost got you killed there. Us killed there. Yeah. Um, the fear to speak is a wired to a central sound system, right? Yeah. Y yeah, so what? We got bigger problems with the holograms. No, uh, no, wait. You're right. The theatre piped music and sound backstage, which means those little squealers are in the corridors back there, too. Um... Yeah, one problem at a time. Take a breath and try and remember. Uh... Let's see. Um, once you break right, watch each turn in the corridor. One will be on your right, past my dressing room, and up. Oh, uh, my dressing room. May have left the radio on, right by the table. Uh, if you could just shut it off instead of blowing it a... Uh, never mind. Uh, and I'll do my best, mate. there's a speaker in the prop room, too, on the wall between the entrances. And, well, walk slow. There's bound to be more. Okay, for radios and the speakers, uh, what about the central sound system? The speakers are all controlled by a central console. It's the farthest from the only door out of here, so you'd need to do a full circuit of the corridor to get to it. Once there, you'll need to shut it down, and I don't have the code. Oh, I'll just hack if it. If you have the code, you can turn off all the speakers, make them settle down. Getting backstage should buy us time, just take it slow. Okay, um, getting backstage is a temporary measure if we can't find the security terminal. Yeah, yeah, right. So, let's see. Security's here because the show hasn't started. Guests aren't allowed in, so... Guess we need to start the show. <clears throat> okay, so when they were setting this place up, we had rehearsals. And, uh, <laughs> Sinclair even set up hologram recordings of the shows so we could watch and critique our performances before a fake audience. Whatever. Thing is, when the recording queued up, a nice, calm, appreciative audience appeared in the theatre. No security with their head blasting zap rays. Yeah, that sounds like so a better prospect. Find the music, get it to the projector room upstairs, then play it. Might reset security with a shot. Right. Anything more I can go on? Uh, right. Uh, let's see. When you get the door open, there'll be an exit door dead ahead. Don't take it. It's most likely filled with toxins from the vents, so hug the wall. Make as much space between you and the door, or it's cloud nine in a casket. Past that is my dressing room. Under the table, there's a footlocker. It's tucked back a bit, so you might miss it. Inside, a gun... Some ammo. Not much help against the ghost. Still, if you're about to give up, call it quits. Throw it to me, so I can eat a bullet first. 
All right. This casino security system is pissing me off. You are preaching to the choir. Sinclair and his security don't even get me started. Those holograms. Look, just get rid of them, all right? Tried to slip off stage, then they all started changing color and raising their hands. Not a good sign. All right. Fuck it. You're right. Not mine. Okay, our security system's out of here. That's not too bad. That'll be. Hey, you found my old room. I mean, it's a little small. And hey, Ooh. what? Hands in there. I remember when I left everything. Okay, we're not going to be able to get this turned offline. Phew. Alright. Radio, shut down. Ah, uh, backstage key. Got it. Uh, let me see, what else do we have? First aid box. Rebound. He mentioned a foot locker. Yeah, we really don't need the ammo right now. Dean Domino's blackmail tape. Doc's bag. Pretty as a picture. Hmm. That does not sound good. Okay. Pass that part. Stop for a quick snack. Oh dear. Bingo. Another doctor's bag. Oh, this is getting better. An iron. Alright, that appears to be filled with more hideous cloud toxins. Maybe I can shut down these ghosts using the stage manager's old terminal. Damn it! Well, so much for that I didn't hear. Ah, another one. Hey, you're making real progress. Good. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Uh, look, that's Vera's room. So, careful what you touch in there. Be respectful. Ambient audio. Uh, power off. Whew. That was close. Dean Domino saw her yesterday song. There is key. Medicine. There'll be something in here. At least we've got the music that we need. Backstage door.
Oh fucking hell. Oh fucking hell. Oh fucking hell. Oh dear god, I forgot that that one's locked. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit, hide behind the computer. You can't get me if I'm behind the computer. Oh god damn it. the key to this room be hiding? Must be in here. One security holo emitted down. No. Not through the emergency exit. That appears to be filled with choking hazardous gas. Hurry, would you get me out of this mess? I'm going to sue my agent for this. Yeah, Dean, I'm trying my best. Okay, that's minus two of them. Oh God. Um. <laughs> Okay, so no way I'm getting in that. Ah, this is where I need. Bingo, tail of chivalry, fuck you. Stupid robot. Ooh, lying, congressional style. Oh god, he's seeing me. Play the tape, play the tape, play the tape. Hello, Dean. As if he wasn't annoying enough. Now I can fully enjoy his company in fucking hologram format. Piss off, Elijah. I was distracting them while you flicked them off. We're a good team. I run the show while you run the box office. Okay. Well, we managed to get around there, no problem. Hmm. Right. This isn't right. Okay, so I'm guessing up through here. Oh, those electric ghosts aren't the kind of audience I like at the best of times. At least the ones in the villa had manners. Yeah, we're not Frank Don't Spears, even know how you? I ended up here. Guess the casino still recognizes guests, even after all this time, huh? <laughs> How's that for history? Uh, you all right, man? Yeah, now. Talk about a captive audience. Or a captive entertainer. Eh, whatever. Look, I'm more about the short goodbyes than long, thankful speeches. 
But I appreciate you bailing me out of a tight spot there, partner. No problem. I know you didn't do it out of the goodness of your heart. So let me give you something a little more practical. A way we both come out ahead. I'm listening. I'm not an idiot. I know the reason I'm in here now is because of the old guy. And you. And you're wearing a collar, so I trust you a little more than the old guy. He's more controlling than I'd like. Thing is, here's where being my partner pays off. See, I know how to get into the casino vault. Go on. What do you mean? There's a private elevator, Sinclair's elevator. It's up in the executive suites in Vera's room. Not a coincidence. Vera. She was my other partner before the bomb. Took some legwork. Some convincing made it happen. How so? Sinclair was already puppy-eyed, so all I had to do was the introduction. She smiled, fluttered her eyes, showed a little leg, and he built this whole place for her. Made her the key to his vault, like a joke, cause of her name. Her fake Hollywood name. Except Sinclair didn't know I'd been there first. I could twist her whatever direction I wanted. Hmm. All she had to do was get inside the Sierra Madre for the gala, then use her voice to open the door. After that, smooth sailing would have been the biggest heist in history. Sinclair left holding the bag. Ruined. So, what happened? The bomb. Vera got sealed in here. A few hundred years go by, give or take. Almost the end of the story. Then you came along. Now we finish the job. Rob the Sierra Madre, rip out its heart. Last chapter of Frederick Sinclair. Close the book. Uh, what was your problem with Sinclair? Problem? All high and mighty. Lording it over everyone. Acting so self-righteous, like nothing could touch him. He was the one with the problem. Never got mad at anything, nothing seemed to shake him. Even after his life kept getting dragged through the dirt. Always kept looking for the bright, shining future in everything. So, I decided to take everything from him. But what did he do to you? Do to me? What, weren't you listening? He thought he was better than me. Don't believe me? Look around. This big casino. This big colossal monument. Think it was for some woman? No. All ego. All self-righteous in lights. Fit him perfect. Had to take him down a few pegs. Bring him down to my level. Begin again? Some things you don't get up from. I was going to prove it. So you're going to prove it now? How? I didn't know at first. Then the old man showed up. You showed up. Then that woman showed up, covered in scars. The one who makes all the hand signs, a little tight around the corners of her mouth. I put her in the clinic, tuned her like an instrument. If she heals up, it's not going to be her voice speaking anymore. That is if the Sierra Madre didn't get her. If it did, 
Well, there's enough of Vera around for me to spend a few years piecing a book together. And if she is alive? Then she can make some beautiful music. I'm not banking on it. So here's the short of it. Piece together Little Miss Vera Key's song in the right order. Sierra Madre opens its legs when in business. All right, I'll head out and see what I can do on my Go, end. Go, knock yourself out. I'm just going to catch my breath a bit. That performance, well, more pressure than I was expecting. So this was all just a fucking scam robbery. It's not going to be performing here again, that's for sure. This place is a dump. Lousy. <laughs> Dean, you are truly an asshole. Yeah, Ace of Clubs. Let's get the fuck out of here. That's the great Dean Domino dealt with. I'm surprised he's still alive after all this. Now we just need to deal with Christine. Hope she's okay. Fingers crossed. <laughs>